Well, hello again and thank you for coming back to see the second part of the tutorial as well. Just like I said before, uh, this part uh, will show you how to, how to join all these uh, 25 squares uh, of one of the sides together. Just like I did here on this front uh, side. And also, just like I said before, I decided to join my squares with white. But you can pick whichever color you would prefer. But for visual consistency, I recommend you join all squares together with the same color. So let's, uh, let's do that. After... Okay, well, I have 25 squares here. So you need to mix and match the colors as you please, as you want to. And this is how I did it. I kept the same, um, the same combination with white in the middle and then one shade of pink to the sides and then another shade of pink on third diagonal row and then red and then whites again in the corners. So you really do need 25 squares to start joining them together. So pick the other smaller crochet hook. Mine is this 3.5 millimeter European size. And now to join them pick these two squares to on the right side. This is the front, the right side of this square and this is the right side of the other one. And then fold them together just like this. This is the front, this is the front. So they are back to back. Okay, let me zoom in a little better. And then pick your main color and attach the new color to the crochet hook. Okay, so these are the two squares. We, we will join them together using single crochet stitches. So very simple. There are a lot of techniques out there to join the granny squares together, but before, uh, but because this is a tutorial meant for those of you who are pretty much beginners, let's start with simple things. And let's use single crochet stitches. So insert your hook into this chain to space of the first granny square, and then insert your hook into this chain to space of the second granny square and attach this collar with a slip stitch just like that we have this little bit of yarn here and we are going to work around it trying to hide it across uh, the sides of the granny squares then chain one and work one single crochet stitch into this chain to space. Just like that. Now insert hook into the next stitch and then insert hook into first stitch of the second granny square and work one single crochet stitch. Insert hook into next double crochet stitch of the first granny square and then into second double crochet stitch of the second granny square. So continue working this around uh, around.
and one more stitch to go. So insert hook into this last stitch and then last stitch of the second square. And then insert hook into this chain two space of the two of both the two squares and work one single crochet stitch. And here we have we have just joined together two uh, of uh, two of the squares. Ta-da! I'm using a smaller crochet hook to join everything together because otherwise these single crochet stitches would be a little too big and I didn't really like that even though I tried first so I prefer using a smaller crochet hook. Now I will show you how to join the next two squares to this and uh, then I will show you how to join and you can finish off joining all the squares on first and second row alone because you are going to use the same technique and then I will show you how to join these two squares to what we have so far so far so just like we did for the first two squares just pick them up back to back like that And let's see. First, insert your hook into both the two, the chain two spaces of uh, each square. Pull the yarn through and slip stitch. And then insert your hook into the, the same chain two space and work one single crochet just like that and now just like we did before work single crochet stitches across I'm going to do this a little faster than before because um, it is just a repeat of the same instructions now joining these squares on uh, the horizontal is a little more time consuming and frustrating but uh, you will see how fast this is going to go on of the vertical rows because all squares are already in place so that's going to make things a lot easier and there you have one last single crochet stitch into last chain to space. And here we have. So continue picking them up. The last six squares left on second on first and second row and join them together just like I did here. So and hey guys. I joined, I just finished, almost finished joining my last two squares together but there's something I need to show you how to finish off joining at the end of the row. So as usual work one single crochet in this last chain to space and then you will need to cut the yarn somewhere where you please. And then what we need to do here. Okay. Insert your hook then into same chain to space, yarn over, pull the yarn through. And then pull the yarn through that loop on hook, yarn over hook and pull through to finish off. Well, sorry about that. Uh, beep 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 it was the alarm going off anyway yeah so this is how you finish off joining uh, the squares on the horizontal and now we have this little bit of yarn and just like I said before we will want to hide all of them or as many as we can 
across the project. So insert your hook then into this first chain one of the chain two space. Pull the yarn over and through. I'm sorry I'm repeating this, but um, yeah, I'm doing this because it's going to be easier to join all of these pieces together. Yeah, and I'm doing this one more time. And then I'll cut off this and just like that. So now let's join these first two squares of the third row to the second row. And after, you just need to follow the same instructions to complete uh, joining them on the horizontal. So just like we did before, um, attach a slip knot to the crochet hook and pick all this together and then this first square of the third row and put it back to back to the first square of the second row. And just like we did before, insert your hook into that chain two space and attach the new collar with a slip stitch. And then chain one, one single crochet into the same chain two space and then working single crochet stitches and also working around this little bit of yarn. Please be careful not to miss any of these stitches because then you're probably going to get a little confused so if it helps you can actually count them And then work one last single crochet stitch into this chain to space of both of the granny squares. And here we have the first square joined with, um, with the project so far. So now pick this second square of, on the third row, put it again back to back with the second one of the second row. And then slip stitch into this first chain two space and work one single crochet. So please continue joining all uh, these five rows of granny squares on the horizontal and then I will see you again uh, where I'm uh, again to show you how to join them on the vertical. So guys, have you finished joining your squares on the horizontal already? Well then if you did, then your piece should look like mine right here in front. And it is time to start joining them on the vertical as well. So this is how the side of the bag should be positioned. How do I know that? Well the white is on the diagonal right here. So now just move your piece on this side and I will show you how to join these four squares together. Everything else is done in the same manner as this, these um, two squares. So as usual take your white or whichever 
whichever color you chose to join the pieces together. And then just fold these two, these first two rows like this and work across the row. So we need to slip stitch this white into the chain two space of both the first two squares, just like we did before. Just like we did before, we chain one and then we work one single crochet stitch into the same chain two space. And then working single crochet stitches on top of the double crochet stitches on both sides of the squares. As you can see, I'm also working on top of this little bit of yarn to conceal it around my project. And then work one last single crochet into this chain to space. And then we need to jump into these chain two spaces of the next two squares. And we slip stitch right there into that chain two space. And then working one single crochet stitch in the same chain two space. Let me zoom out. And then continue working single crochet stitches on top of the double crochet stitches. So that's what you need to do to join the squares on the vertical. Remember how we finish a row on the horizontal? by working one last uh, single crochet stitch into the chain two space and then finishing off with uh, finish finishing off remember how we do that well then you need to repeat that as well on the vertical so please continue working this across And this is how it is going to look like. And I will see you guys at the end to show you how my side is going to look. Here I have my pink side completed. Following the same instructions mentioned in this video, please join your other 25 squares for the other side of your bag in the same manner. And once you have completed the two sides, you can then move on to the third tutorial. Link is uh, third part, sorry, third part of the tutorial. This link is going to be shown right here. And uh, this third tutorial will show you how to join together the 24 squares for the handle right and left edge and bottom.